Initially, I entered the race uh, two years ago, the first race uh, against Parker Griffith. Uh, no one would challenge that guy. We were all, you guys were all fooled, I'm sorry to say. And because uh, I'd heard from neighbors and people like that about his hospital annex. And I asked a couple people to run against him and they wouldn't. So I decided to come out of the woodwork and challenge that challenge this person. And he's turned out every bit as like I thought he was. Uh, and, and this isn't the first party switch. Remember, there was a, a previous party switch. So he's like a frog, you know, just jumping around to opportunities. Um, so anyway, I came back on a more positive note. Right now, I'm interested in green. I, uh, there's a, a $1.5 trillion economy out there. It's growing like a wildfire, and I'd like to see northern Alabama part of it. I think it would cure a lot of our uh, job problems. So my platform, is, I have two pieces to my, two core pieces to my platform. First piece is that I'd like to I repeal some legislation that was uh, pr that was put into law back in the 80s that said that China had most favored nation trading status. It dropped our tariffs uh, that China had to pay to, you know, to trade with us, and it moved our jobs there. And it's it's, it's, a, it's a wound that we inflicted on ourselves. And I don't want to sound like Jimmy Carter, but that's what happened. Uh, we got to stop. We got to reverse it. No one's talking about doing that. Well, if we're, we're going to get our jobs back, someone's got to do it. The second thing is, I want to repeal the law this is, that says the SUVs are the same as farm trucks in terms of uh, gas mileage. That is, that's been responsible for a lot of gas guzzling. I mean, I feel. I sound like I'm preaching here, but I feel it's highly irresponsible to be purchasing a gas guzzler. Uh, you're your, uh, a lot of the money that you use there is going to, for your gas guzzling, is going to go to Mideast countries. It's going to pay the people that are killing our troops. It's just an irresponsible act, and I hope people can stop doing that. By the way, I, I was also in the military. Uh, for, I got an honorable, honorable discharge, and I did enter at a time that was extremely unpopular to go into uh, the military. Uh, in any case, uh, uh, green is a duty for me. It's a national security thing. I, I just, I want to, I'm trying to be patriotic here, and I want to do the right thing. And uh, we, we, I don't favor closing down a lot of power plants. That, you know, we already have a bad economy. But for a sustainable future, we need more hybrid cars. You know, we need photovoltaic roof coverage. We need a whole, whole shebang. And uh, finally, I support our intervention in Afghanistan. And we may wonder what that has to do with the green. Well, it has a lot to do with it. I know the 911 terrorists came from Afghanistan, so we had to fight them. Uh, we had no choice. A lot of people are talking about, you know, getting out on Afghanistan. And I'm not a pacifist when it comes to Afghanistan. But we, I think the final, the ultimate solution to those kinds of Mideast problems is to go green, to get off our dependence on their oil, and then to leave them alone. We should have a gradual extension of Medicaid in pieces so that we don't have to add a huge bureaucracy to the healthcare establishment. And if, because if you have this monstrous bureaucracy, a lot of the money isn't gonna go to the people, it's gonna go to bureaucrats. But saying that, uh, even though the health care bill wasn't ideal, uh, we've been trying for a health care bill for like 30 years. It was, you know, uh, for uh, one of the Kennedys made it practically his life ambition to get a health care bill through uh, the Congress. So uh, I uh, would have voted for it because if you didn't vote for it then, you're never going to get it. And that, that's my feeling. So I would have voted for it, even though I disagree with quite a bit of it. Um, Roe Ro v. Wade, uh, I, I do favor, you know, I, you should ha be able to have an abortion if you have problems with, uh, you know, incest, rape, st stuff like that. So I'm not an anti-abortionist. But I, I don't feel we should be going rampant 
on that because it, it, I think it cheapens human life. So we've got to be a little bit careful how far we we go with that. But uh, in case of a, you know, like I said, in case of a, a medical emergency or something, I I uh, think it, it's it's a necessity possibly. On the gay marriage thing, uh, uh, I. Suppose I, you should leave it up to the states. Let the states take care of it. Uh, if, if all the people in the state want to do that, that, there's nothing we can do about it. So it's fine. I've had some interaction with the RAC process too, as in, in the MDA, Missile Defense Agency, and I just like to make a comment here that in the RAC process, uh, they shouldn't ignore people here who have been laid off uh, and, and try to pull everybody in from Maryland. I know an awful lot of people who have a lot of experience in missile defense who don't have jobs here. So if anybody is interested in BRAC, don't ignore us. As well, well I, I probably seeing a, seem a single issue candidate. Uh, well, I mostly am. Uh, going green is uh, kind of important. It's a $1.5 trillion industry and it's growing like wildfire. Uh, so I, I'm pushing that uh, mostly. I, urge you, if I don't win, to stop buying gas guzzlers, <laughs> you know, just, just don't buy them. And uh, I got into this thing because no one would challenge you-know-who, and <laughs> no one stood out to do it. I asked a bunch of people, and I came out of the woodwork and, and decided to do it, and it was pretty hard, but I got as many votes as some people that spent $100,000 so uh, or more, so it wasn't that bad, and I got the green message out. So I believe I would be a, a really good uh, congressman, especially on the scientific committees. I understand the technical issues associated with uh, propulsion, the breakthrough propulsion, with MDA. I work with them all. I wouldn't be snowed by the people there. I think you'd get a lot out of me on those committees. Thank you.